Hi everyone, my name is Leah and I'm the Ocean and Energy Facilitator here at the Discovery Center. Welcome to another Bite Size Science video. Today we're going to explore how fish move around in the water. Now as most of you probably know, fish have fins that they can use to swim around at the same level in the water. A lot like humans use our arms and legs to swim. But fish actually have something special that humans don't have, and that's called a swim bladder. And the swim bladder is just a special air-filled organ, and fish can easily change the amount of air that's inside their swim bladder to affect their buoyancy, which is just a fancy way of saying how floaty something is. So if something's very buoyant, that means it's very floaty, and it probably floats, floats right at the surface of the water. But if something's not very buoyant, then that means it's not very floaty, and it probably sinks right to the bottom. So fish can change the amount of air in their swim bladder to affect their buoyancy, which changes what level they are in the water, how deep they are. So we're going to do a little experiment today, and we're going to find out what happens when a fish changes the amount of air in their swim bladder. So the first thing you need is a bowl, and you're going to fill that with water to represent our ocean. You're also going to need a cardboard tube and some tape and coins and a balloon. So what you want to do is take your cardboard tube and you want to tape coins to one side of it. So this is going to represent our fish and the coins are just to give it some weight to make it nice and meaty. The next thing you want to do is you want to take your balloon and this is going to represent our swim bladder. So you want to fill it up with some air. And remember it has to go inside of our fish so you don't want to put too much or else it won't fit. So just a little bit of air in the swim bladder and then you can tie that off. Okay, let's find out what happens when our fish goes for a swim in the water with no air in its swim bladder. So we can just leave this off to the side for now. Do you think it's going to float or is it going to sink? So when there's no air in the swim bladder, our fish sinks right to the bottom. It's not very buoyant. So you can take that out before it sinks in the water for too long because it's just cardboard so it'll start to get a bit mushy. So then we're going to take our swim bladder and we can put it inside our fish and we're going to see what happens when the fish goes swimming with lots of air in the swim bladder. Do you think anything's going to change? So when there's air in the swim bladder, our fish floats right at the top of the water. It's very buoyant now. So if a fish wants to go closer to the surface, then they can add air to their swim bladder. But if they want to go deeper down, then they can remove air from their swim bladder and that'll allow them to do that. So you can feel free to experiment with different amounts of air in your swim bladder or different amounts of coins to make your fish heavier or lighter. I hope you guys learned something today. Thanks for watching.